<laughs> Played a lot of instruments through this amp and this sounds the best already. <laughs> Gavin here from Sad Fernando. Normally I'm repairing and looking after guitars or making them. Today is something different. I do other work as well, pro bono for a couple of charities. One of them I'm at today and it's Electric Umbrella in Hemel Hempstead. There'll be a link below to show you the work they do. The work I do here is all of their instruments are donated and not usually in a good state. So. I, along with other people, help do them up and make them saleable. Normally these guitars are quite cheap, but today's one is exceptional and needs no work at all. We've got a 1974-1975 Les Paul Deluxe. This is a gold top. Now, it might look orange to you, because it is orange. Because of its age, the nitrocellulose lacquer has aged beautifully. There are no cracks on it. It has not been refinished. It has not been refretted. There are tiny nubs on the side, but absolutely tiny, and they're still there. The frets on the Les Paul Deluxes were quite small to start with. We've got two mini humbuckers from the period as well. Originally, these came with P90s, and in the early 70s, they changed them round to these mini humbuckers. But the routing had been done for P90s, so Gibson nailed in these cheetah rings. It is very rare to find cheetah rings on one of these left. Most people rerouted their guitars for full-size humbuckers. Fools, in my opinion. What else is important about this? We've got a three-piece mahogany neck. Wonderful. It's straight as a die. The body is also the pancake body. So we've got Honduran mahogany, maple mahogany, and a maple cap on the top. The bridge looks original. The pots are original. We've got the thumb bleeders on here as well. Hasn't been refretted. And most importantly for the collectors, that's the original truss rod cover for the Deluxe. It's uh, a little bit special. So what else is special about this guitar? Well, it is impeccable. There is no checking or flaking of finish on this whatsoever. It has been kept clearly in a loving home and played wonderfully by somebody who cared about it. It's not been in hot and cold. There's a couple of rashes on the back of it. Yeah, but that's really all. The electronics look original, they're quite corroded, um, and I haven't, you know, scrubbed away at that to try and correctly find out if the uh, pots are correct, but they look it, and here's a photo of them. The only drawback is that a previous owner, if you see the binding here, is nice and brown, as it should be. The previous owner thought it was dirt and took the brown off. Unfortunately it wasn't dirt, it was the actual nitrocellulose finish that had aged beautifully. If you want to do, make it go back to that, you can get nitrocellulose vintage finish and just paint it on. I think it's better just to leave it as it is, as part of its story. What does it sound like? Mini humbuck humbuckers, have got all the benefits of being humbuckers, but with a little bit more bite in there, a little bit more mid-end, and I have genuinely never seen one in this condition before. The neck is smooth, sounds beautiful. Um, we'll have some more demos at the end with my good friend Seb. It is sold as seen. All the profits go to Electric Umbrella. Do visit the link below for the eBay page and also um, how you can support Electric Umbrella in the future. Apart from me playing out and actually overdubbing it with my friend Seb, who's a far better player than me, that's all. Thank you very much. Played a lot of instruments through this amp and this sounds the best already. <laughs>
on it on the link below. All the benefits go to Electric Umbrella. Subscribe here, more videos here, and here come cats.